NBC 26 Live at 5. The Kiwani Food Pantry fights to keep their building tonight so they don't have to close their doors. Pantry leaders say they help over 400 people a month in Kiwani County put food on the table. They hope a fundraiser tonight in Algoma will help them get the money they need to continue serving the community. NBC 26's Deandra Corinthios joins us from the newsroom with our big story at 5. Last April, the Kiwani County Food Pantry found out they lost their sponsor because of a big drop in federal funding. So they took out a big loan to keep their building, and now they're hoping the community will help them pay it off. A rainy day, dampening spirits at the Kiwani County Food Pantry's fundraiser. Attendance suffered, organizers expected hundreds, but many of those who did show up have a very personal connection to the cause. All added up, I'm, I, I don't make a lot of money. Michael Waters, a volunteer for the pantry, also eats from there to survive. He's self employed and says some months can be tough to scrape by. The food pantry helps a lot because that helps me to, to eat when I have negative months. Waters wants to raise enough money to pay off the $65,000 left on the pantry building's loan. Lakeshore Cap Inc., the company that used to sponsor the pantry, ran out of federal dollars. Various types of vegetables, fruits, some toiletries over here. The pantry president says the shelves are stocked. Food isn't so much the problem as cash. It's sometimes like pulling teeth. People just don't want to give that money. And I've told people, you know, if everyone in this county would give $10, we'd have the money we need. Half the families served have children, and many others are elderly. Markhart says they need the pantry to stay open. And if we didn't have the building, we wouldn't have anything. And for people like Waters, that would be a hardship. People do need it. Now, the pantry has five years to pay off the loan, but they hope to do it soon so that interest doesn't add up, and they hope to hold another fundraiser around the holidays. Live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Deandra Corinthios, NBC 26.